I would like to give you an introduction of about the audio connect and uh, uh, connect functions in the all new A4. And also, some of you might have seen uh, during the Q7 event already, uh, what you will notice, of course, this car is fully loaded with all the technologies we introduced in our latest car architecture with the Q7. And uh, let me emphasize some of those functions. And when you, what we, what we did is, uh, we worked uh, with with the economics teams, with the design team, with the architectural team that I'm leading to create this new MMI system, including the virtual cockpit, and do all the networking and the interaction with the driver assistants. If you if you enter this new A4 first. You see this uh, slim, lightweight uh, cockpit with all, the, with all its craftsmanship and perfection. And of course, this was a challenge for us to achieve this level, especially if you talk about uh, computer graphics and, and a digital cockpit, you have some, some uh, challenges to solve. And I would like to walk you through uh, one thing. Uh, we would like to highlight first is the new operation concept. The new MMI system uh, is based on two, two major keys, a left and a right button. Uh, in the middle you have the cent central knob. And what you do is with the left button you get all your major functions and with the rotational knob you, you rotate through the lists and through the items. And with the right button you can always an option which is in a context to your to your uh, current function. So if you're on a map, you get different options, like in the media. So you can consider something like the right mouse button from okay. some desktop systems. Yeah, you get always the, a context-specific option menu. And what we did is to make this more intuitive and to make this also safer for the driver. We mirror this concept from the center console. To the, to the left steering wheel controls. If you look onto the steering wheel, you find the same icons and the same pattern, the left and the right button, and the small rotational knob in the middle, which allows you to control all the major functions while driving with keeping your hands on the wheel. A complete duplication? It's not a complete one. We did some filtering to do some good reasons. In the center console, you get everything. Okay. You can configure everything to your personal needs. On the, on the steering wheel, of course, we, we filter the most relevant functions for you. But you will see this is a, this is a good set what uh, keeps you on the wheel and you will figure out that you, that you don't have a need to use the center console while driving. And on the right end, you also have the speech control. You have the push to talk button. You can control your phone calls all the audio with it, so you have the full control with your left thumb and your right thumb. Yeah. Um, when we stop, now I'm going a few years back when we met first and think about this concept, and I would like to give you some insights to that. Yeah. Uh, we were sitting together with the entire engineering team, the design team, ergonomics, all the all the people which are related to the cockpit, and said, how can we envision this new virtual cockpit since you had some examples already where people say, put a computer screen into it, that's it. So this, this cannot work for Audi. The first thing we agreed all on is, Audi is about precision. You will see in any single element the mechanical precision. And we should not lose this mechanical precision. So we should find a way to translate this uh, me mechanics into, into the virtual cockpit, into computer graphics. And uh, it's all about new functions. And then if you add new functions, we have this great uh, set of driver assistance functions. You want to make your operation easier. You have to reduce the steps of operation. I will give you an example for this one. Uh, graphics is key. If you want to do a digital cockpit, you have to be absolutely keen about high-end computer graphics. Else you cannot reach this level of perfection. I have an example for that. Openness is, is the key factor to, for, for, for the Audi Connect. So you want to allow 
to install or to, to push new functions onto the system, we developed a specific framework for that. And it's all about touch. And there's a big discussion, touch clean, not touch clean. Uh, you see in the Audi MMI, S in the Q7, S in the TT, the new evolution of the Audi MMI combining it, a powerful touchpad and a powerful search, which comes next, um, and separated on the two screens, which allows you to control this via, via real controls. And here is here's the, here's the big discussion. Typically, all people talk about the center screen. They say, center screen, now you can talk forever. Is touch better or, or not? But it doesn't help you at all if you want to solve something in a, in a digital cockpit. Since how do you operate a digital cockpit? You cannot operate this with a touch screen. There's no way. So you need steering wheel controls. That's why you have to find an operational concept that works for both. And this is what we did. And uh, let's dive in a little bit more into details. This is this very well-known shape of an Audi gauge. I guess you can agree within a second it looks like an Audi. <laughs> so um, our, our toughest discussion about this was when we started this concept, our design team, ergonomics team decided if you do computer graphics in a car, you have to find the same position of this well-known Audi gauge with its all its mechanical perfection and to translate this from, from the analog world into the digital world. And I can tell you, it is way easier to make any fancy computer graphics than this one. So what we had to do, we had to, we had to study all the materials all their reflections, all their colors, their cloths, and whatever parameter is needed, and developed a specific computer graphics library for this to simulate the same effect. That's why if you make a shot into the car or if you sit in the car, if you notice nothing, then we achieved our goal. If you say this looks like known, this is hard to achieve. If you notice something strange, then and call me back, then we, we failed a bit. <laughs> yeah. And uh, about the needle, I want to tell a story about a small needle. You will say, this is just a needle. Okay, it is just a needle, yes, I agree. But it's a, a very good story about this needle. This needle should look like your known needle from your classical cockpit. It's computer graphics. How do you do that? The computer graphics can do everything. It can jump from here to here. It uh, can look ugly, and obviously you cannot do thousands of pictures of needles and animate them. So this is a high-end 3D computer graphics that simulates all the reflections, all the shades, and in any movement there is a physical library behind it which gives you a real kinematics of this needle. And it doesn't jump, it doesn't jitter, it makes exactly what you expect from, from a needle. So there was an entire team just working on a needle. <laughs> <laughs> so you're not using multiple pictures, you're actually shading the needle Absolutely. in real time. There's a, there's, a, there's a very sophisticated computer library doing this with 60 frames per second, high precision, high priority, just a needle. Like a medium. Yeah. So my question is with the, the, the high-end computer graphics and the, the 3D animation, why stick with the classic analog dial. Why not go like a digital, like a digital readout that goes goes along the top of the dash? Why stick with the, the old-fashioned analog? This is a uh, this is a design pattern, um, and I give you two examples. One is if you look to this great cockpit, um, I saved the time to switch back now. You will see this in the car anyway. Yeah? This has a specific design language, so the, our the interior design team has an idea how this cockpit looks like and what the appearance is. And you don't, you don't want contradictions. A, a pure computer graphics in this guy would be a complete contradiction. If you look further, what we have shown as concepts already, the Audi Polar concept, we pick up this idea, but then it gives you a full digital experience in the entire cockpit. And what you need to do, you have to wipe out any knob. There is no knob at all. If you look to the, to the Audi Prolog concept or the new uh, e-tron Quattro concept, you will feel the speech of this, of this new design concept. So it's two boards, uh, mechanical-oriented board or semi-mechanical, 
and fully digital. And I think it was a wise decision. This was years ago. Yeah, this is not today. It's not 2016. We talked about this in 2008, 2009, to make an evolution first, uh, to let our customers follow this uh, technology to create some acceptance for it, then go further. I think this is the way to go. Yeah, and if you note, if you notice something strange, this shouldn't happen again. Yeah. Um, Let's go for the topic of reduction, which was another uh, strong pillar of this uh, design philosophy. When we came from the current system, what you know from the current uh, A4, uh, we had to do all this category and, and nail down this over hierarchy of menus. And we counted and analyzed all these steps and said, okay, some of them are good, they're good, they're easy to use, but a long path to go. How can we improve this? And we tried to do something like that. One single line, type in, get the result what you want. So how can you do this? Since you have to guess. Since this single line cannot know what you're looking for. So we developed a new uh, search algorithm, what we call truffles, which is coming from this nice seldom uh, fruit under the earth, uh, where you need a specific trained animal to find this. And this, uh, after a while, we all said truffle search to it. Uh, and this guy is really uh, smart since uh, it, trans it looks into your history, it looks in your favorites, it looks into the entire database, it looks to your location and say, let me give this guy three, four, five good guesses uh, and, and you can refine this uh, if you're not satisfied or just top it and then you get this and uh, this is quite powerful and what is also specific about this it's not just a, a google search what we have on top of that it is integrated into the car so even without having an internet connection or being in specific conditions where this is weak you can use it so our philosophy is you should use you, you must be able to use it at any time yeah, not relying on a strong internet connection. If you have one, and we have 4G LTE now, it gets even more powerful with the Google search. Is Truffles the official term for it? Is it just the, what you guys call it at the office? I don't know. We have been sad. This is engineering talk. We, we all know this internally. I guess they call it quick search or smart search. I don't know. I just, we it, all call I, it Truffle I, search, see, but it's, it's, it's in the building talk. I, I, I sure. leave this to the marketing guys to find the name for that. <laughs> well, it's a good name. You don't have to find another one. Um, so let's summarize a little bit and emphasize the, uh, the, the food suite of the Audi Connect uh, functions. Uh, the current A8 came already with some uh, uh, leading functions like Google Earth and, and Street View. This is very well known, still very unique. Of course, we continue this and we enhance this by other functions uh, which allow you more POI search, which allow you, as shown here, to use the Audi MMI Connect app to control those functions over, over your smartphone. We support both iOS and, and Android, and coming with it, these are the Apple Watch or any Android Wear enabled watch. Yeah? You can use uh, some uh, major functions from the watch and, and all the uh, uh, connected functions from your smartphone. And what you see also in the app, it, uh, it really relates to the Audi MMI, it en enhances the Audi MMI by using the same design patterns by using the same same uh, menu colors like the, the red is always for the car the orange for the media the blue for the navigation and so on so it's easy to operate within this menu and being still attached to your car and uh, one new function i also would like to highlight uh, we, we provide through the 4g lde connection now also online traffic so this car is fully connected to online traffic, which gives you way better and way more precise predictions. Uh, uh, you have major roads, of course, but you also have connecting roads and a lot of intersection and, and open traffic uh, included now. Uh, so this is also important for the people which do just their daily commute. Yeah, you can now see what really uh, is in front of you or if, if it doesn't make sense to deviate, most cases obviously not, 
but you can find this. And, and way more, and geofencing, and, and a lot of geo-based functions. And I, I think we all have now more than 40 functions integrated, more to come. It's an open framework, so its functions are embedded into the system, but in a way like a browser style. So the, the apps will be configured and, and described with a specific markup language on the server and will be pushed into the car so that we can do changes on, in the Audi Objects. cloud and push it to all cores. Um, it comes with uh, over the air update for maps. So you get a notification if a new web map is available, you just tap and, and, and uh, accept this. And the map download uh, is running in background, so you can still use the car. You can do this while driving, while using the navigation. You're not blocked for using this. If, you, if this is downloaded and installed, the next time you have the fresh data. Google Earth works differently, as you know, might know. Yeah, this is a streaming map. It streams the data into into the car. Um, yeah, having said this, of course, we also included besides the Audi Connect embedded world. Uh, the, the smartphone integration is called Audi Smartphone Integration, which allows you to attach your your iPhone and, and operate uh, Android uh, uh, Apple CarPlay, and of course Android Auto. Uh, we're working with both partners in the Silicon Valley, friends from Cupertino as well from Mountain View, on a good HMI integration. Especially, we did all the integration of the wheel uh, controls, what I was referring earlier to as well the central knob. Um, in the Android Audio you can see all, uh, already the integration of the handwriting. Apple will follow. We have microphone integration, so you can use either our uh, speech, which is embedded, works on all conditions, but you can enhance this by a long press and you get either Siri or the, okay. or the Google uh, voice recognition. And it works in a way as Apple and Google configure this and you can transfer those data into your car, into your navigation. So you can say, try, give me direction to something or uh, also good for, uh, for, for text messages. Yeah, you, you can spell text messages or dictate text messages as well. The system can read this. And we believe this is a big step forward for, for people which like to use their smartphone in a car, but they should use this in a safe way. Yeah? That's why this system, this integration gives you a way better and, and safer operation. Mm -hmm.